I'd like to talk a little bit about troubleshooting. And troubleshooting is a very difficult subject. There are a lot of things that students do wrong over and over again. So I've included a list of, of those. And I've got a link to For Dummies troubleshooting PHP script with the most common errors. But just in general, the way that you should troubleshoot is to try to divide and conquer. And that means that if you've got some kind of problem in your code, you might put the word die in certain places. That'll stop the code from executing at that place. And then echo out the values of variables. So if I'm trying to figure out whether the username or password are correct, I might echo out username, and then I could echo out the password, and I might even get a little bit more fancy than that. And I could put this in quotation marks, and I could say username equals username variable, and password equals, and then I could put in the dollar sign password. So here I've got an echo statement that echoes out all of the variables and their values, and I've got a die, and I can just move this down. I could run this, see if it works. Does it echo out the right thing? If it does, just cut it, go down here, and do the same thing. Maybe echo out some additional variables. In this case, I've got SQL. So I could echo out the SQL and run this and just keep moving this down and down and down until I find some kind of problem. So that's one way to troubleshoot is try to divide and conquer. Biggest error that people make is they forget the semicolon. It's going to give them a T error. So if you forget your semicolon at the end of a line, it's going to screw you up. So make sure that all your statements end with a semicolon. You don't need a semicolon when you've got a block. So uh, a block is a opening and closing curly bracket. At the end of the curly bracket, you don't need a semicolon. So that would actually adding a semicolon there would cause you a problem. Another thing that is in comparisons, we have to put equals equals, not just equals. So if we put equals, that's assignment. Equals equals is a comparison. That's a big error that people make in if statements. Another problem is the quotation marks. So if I leave out a quotation mark like this, that's going to turn everything below that gray. So if you see a bunch of gray when it should be colorful, that might be a sign that you've got a quotation mark missing. And that goes with half quotes as well. If I leave out a half quote, everything below there turns gray pretty much. So make sure you've got your half quotes and quotations uh, started. And of course, whenever you have one bracket, you're going to have an ending bracket. And whenever you have a parenthesis, you're going to have a closing parenthesis. So make sure you've got your mates for those. And uh, so that's the, the biggest problems. I'll leave a link for you.